what is this? You guys are probably wondering, what is this? What is this video I'm watching right now? Well, this this is a culture box that I've created. Um, as you can see, these are vents. I have one on one side here, and the other side here, and then one in the front. Uh, this is one of those uh, heavy duty boxes I've gotten over at Home Depot for the heat. Um, and you can see right here, you're probably wondering what these guys are. These are my little homemade windows I made out of acrylic. So it helps keep the light in, but at the same time I can still peek in with a little flashlight and see what's going on. And you may ask, well, what's what's in there? Well, uh, let's say I have uh, some roaches. Uh, specifically the, uh, I believe it's pronounced the blap Blaptica dubia or dubia Blaptica roach. Um, I'm not too familiar with it. Let me go ahead and turn on my flashlight, my red light here. The uh, reason I have red light is so I don't disturb the roaches too, too, too much. And that and uh, the bright light actually hurts the roaches' eyes. Um, as you can see, I don't have anything on the bottom. Um, all it is is egg crate. Um, I found that keeping eco works on the bottom helps with humidity but also helps with them hiding and I don't want them to hide too too much uh, right now it's a little bit of a mess I haven't had time to, to clean it too too much uh, over here it's kinda hard to see but these are orange peels uh, I ordered these guys from a guy a uh, culture breeder um, on eBay and he was a great guy um, got about a hundred of them and he recommended that oranges said that he said that oranges are great with breeding uh, getting roaches to breed a little more. I found that anything lettuce wise is great to breed. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, you can see up here, right there, you can see my little reflection there. That's a uh, uh, heat emitter on the bottom, so it's no light. Uh, it is, uh, this is a dome, and I actually designed it to where uh, I've got the, the uh, ceramic heat thing. Um, under the dome, the dome helps hold the heat, so it doesn't help doesn't melt the plastic. Um, just some ideas, um, and it's been working out great. It's a dimmer, so I can adjust the heat um, wherever I need to. Uh, the humidity, last I checked, was tropical in the 70 percent, I believe, 60 70 percent. Uh, humidity stays in pretty well here, since all the, all I have are three vents. Um, uh, you can see on one corner I have gel bug gel. In the other corner I have this this uh, powder this guy gave me. It's this white stuff right here. And um, in the center I have some baby food. Um, if you guys watch my Bearded Dragon clip, I will it will explain why I have baby food in here. And uh, that's full of protein and they love that stuff. Um, and I, they've been breeding very well. I have a lot of females in here. Um, as you can see the whole bottom it's just fill. And I can just keep lifting and lifting and just pulling out more and more and more. They all scurry right there. And um, people don't prefer them, but they are very healthy uh, between protein and fiber. Um, since they are roaches, they pretty much eat anything and everything, and they just obtain, you know, absorb that stuff. Um, I have some babies running around. Probably have about uh, 50 to 100 babies running around on top of the 100, 150. Uh, adults that I have. Um, when I feed, I feed mostly the males. Uh, the females I want to keep uh, just because they're the breeders. Uh, they're the important ones. I could have the ratio I was told was one male for every five, but I like to keep it more of a one male for every five to ten. Um, and I just feed as needed. I don't feed too many of them off at once just because it's not a large culture yet. And then the other one is heat pads, eco worth, and uh, rocks. That, it's just another experiment I have going on. Um, I hope you guys like this video. It's just something quick, something to show you how I culture my dubia roaches. Uh, sorry for the lighting, but I don't want to disturb them too, too much from what it is already. I um, hope you guys like this video.